Dear students, welcome to the module MIP 2601. This is the intermediate uh, mathematics for intermediate uh, phase teachers three. My name is Dr. Pulem Muteki and I will be your lecturer for the year 2024 academic year. So MIP 2601 is a 12 credit module that is housed in the Department of Mathematics Education. The language of instruction or tuition for this module will be English. And then the program where the module is housed is in the Bachelor of Education in Intermediate Phase Mathematics. So the mode of delivery for this module is fully online. I will touch on the aspect of fully online as we proceed with the presentation. And then the lecturer contact details. I can be found using the following three contact uh, options. The first one will be for you to contact me using the email address that is projected on the screen. Alternatively, you can use the telephone line or the telephone number 012-429-4177. Or you can set up an appointment for a physical meeting I can be found on Simon Nguanaradi Parrot Building, floor level seven, office number 19. The office hours I'm available on Monday from 7.45 to 16 hours in the afternoon. So the purpose of this presentation or this first lesson is to look at the following five aspects. That is the purpose of the module, the specific outcomes as well as the assessment criteria, the mode of delivery, as I have indicated initially that this is a fully online, so we will come to understand what do we mean by fully online. Also the assessment types as well as the date, then I will conclude my presentation for today. So the thing today will not be that long. So in looking at the purpose of the module, at the end of this year or upon completing interacting with the module, students who are registered for this module would have gained a detailed knowledge on the fundamental geometrical concepts which underpins the development of deductive reasoning. So deductive reasoning in geometry is one of the fundamental concepts that students who are enrolled for this module will need to be aware of. So in brief, we define deductive reasoning as a process of reasoning from the given premises in order to reach certain conclusions. So this type of reasoning for this model is logically basic and an important method in which mathematical facts are shown or are regarded to be true. The next part, Students who complete this module will be able to identify, to analyze, and to solve problems relating to geometry objects as well as the shapes. They will demonstrate an understanding of different forms of geometry thinking, including the Van Hille level. So the Van Hille theory is one of the theories in mathematics that describes or postulates how young people learn geometry. So this uh, Van Hille theory of framework consists of five levels of geometry thinking, which are labeled as visualization, analysis, abstraction, formal deduction, and rigor. So the proponents of this framework or theory developed this theory upon realizing that their students were struggling to understand geometry in the classrooms. So they developed this theory in response to that struggle of their students. And the theory indicated that in order for students to acquire geometry understanding, 
they need to undergo these modules in sequence or these levels in sequence. And then the other purpose that the students upon interacting with this module will be able to demonstrate the ability to evaluate, to select, and apply appropriate methods, procedures, or techniques in the investigation or application of measurement, focusing on the historical development of measurement concepts and using the variety of measurement tools. So also modeling forms part of the important purpose of the module because students will be expected to know modeling of variety of constructs that will guide students to develop formula for measuring attributes used at school at, at school level and beyond so it is quite important that as you go through this module as you engage with the content of the module you have besides you the caps document for intermediate phase mathematics because as you can see the purpose of the module is in line or is in alignment with what the caps for mathematics intermediate phase expects us as student teachers to be aware of. And then the next slide now that I'm on now is in relation to the specific outcomes as well as the assessment criteria. So you will realize as soon as you log on your module site, your lessons or your units are organized sequentially from lesson one up to lesson six and then each specific outcome corresponds with a specific lesson on the module site for an example your lesson one on the module site is answered or is in line with the specific outcome one of which you are expected to discuss the appreciation of pattern Precision and beauty in geometry exhibits natural and cultural forms. So this is divided into specific assessment criteria whereby the student's knowledge of historical development of geometry concepts and the role that culture play in the advancement of geometry principles is demonstrated. Again, the student shows an appreciation of the aesthetic nature of geometry and the student's ability to incorporate real world scenarios to explain geometrical concepts is demonstrated. So your lesson one or the specific outcome one was informed by one of the general aims of the South African curriculum, which states valuing indigenous knowledge system acknowledging the rich history and the heritage of the South Africa as important contributors in nurturing the values contained in the constitution. So we're looking at geometry in real world as well as in cultural forms. The next lesson or the next unit is in line with a specific outcome two which focuses on engaging in critical discussions with regards to the development of geometric thinking. So lesson two is divided into the following assessment criteria. We have six assessment criteria for that, where now the student's ability to identify and describe the fine Healy levels of geometric thought is demonstrated. The student's application of knowledge of polygons as well as polyhedra to explain phenomena in geometrical contexts is illustrated. The students able to classify polygons using the most economical descriptions or the most simple terminology is demonstrated. The student's understanding of deductive reasoning process in proving geometry riders is also demonstrated. The students detailed knowledge of the development of axiomatic systems is also demonstrated. 
The student's awareness of the limitations of geometry is also demonstrated. So learning unit two or lesson two focuses on that criteria in line with what the Van Hille levels prescribe for students or for learners who are in the intermediate phase, who are learning mathematics or geometry in the intermediate phase. The third specific outcome, develop an awareness of the properties, orientations, positions, and relationships of two dimensional shapes and three dimensional objects. So the assessment criteria here, we have three, whereby the student's ability to pe perform rigid transformations in a plane is demonstrated. The ability to perform dilations in a 2D Euclidean space is also demonstrated. The students' explanations of the principles of tessellations, which goes back to learning unit two, the engagement in the critical discussions with regard to development of geometric thinking. And then we have the other specific outcome, which focuses on the classification and the analysis of measurement system throughout the history. So in this uh, unit or in this assessment outcome, we have three assessment criteria, which will focus on the student's understanding of the development of measurement concepts, the student's detailed knowledge of the historical development of measurement tools is demonstrated, as well as the student's ability to evaluate, to select, and to apply appropriate methods, procedures, or techniques in the use of measuring instruments. And I still reiterate the fact that as soon as you start interacting with this module, Please make sure that you access and download the CAPS Intermediate Phase Mathematics because the concepts that this module focuses on are also prescribed in the CAPS document for Intermediate Phase Mathematics. And then the last specific outcome touches on geometry description of geometry as a tool to solve problems related to triangles. So under this section, we have two assessment criteria, student information appropriate to the task in solution of problems of trigonometry nature is classified, and the student's ability to solve problems using trigonometry skills in real world situation or context should be shown. So when I started with my presentation, I did indicate that this is a fully online module, meaning that all the information is available via the internet. So we use MyUNISA as, as our virtual platform. So in order for you to log on to MyUNISA and have access to the module, you must be a fully registered student with a student number. And also you need to claim my UNISA password upon registration so that you will be able to access the module site. So the meaning of the fully online means that there will not be any printed material in the form of a study guide or tutorial letters. However, all this information will be made available online upon you logging on to the module site. So the module site for your module is as indicated, MIP 2601-2024, and then it's a year module. So meaning you will have only one examination towards the end of the year, but another session will be organized for you to talk about the examination uh, issues. So also you are advised to log on to the module site regularly, that is twice or three times a week, so that you don't miss out on the announcements that the lecturer will be making as well as the assessments regarding this module. And then on the slides, as a short 
um, description of the types of assessments as well as the dates. For this module for the academic year 2024, we have four formative assessments with the following weightings. So the first assessment is in a form of a quiz that we normally call the multiple choice. And then each assessment has its respective unique number as well as the due date. So our first assignment is already available so that as soon as you register, you engage with the module content and then you also try to answer your assignment questions. And what I would like to bring up to your attention is that once the assessment date for the quiz has been closed, it means we will not be able to open it. Hence, it is important for you to start waiting on your assignments, to start engaging with your module content as soon as you are registered. Please do not wait for the last minutes. So each assignment has a weighting of 25% or with a total of 100%. However, what you need to understand is that all these assignments only contribute 20% towards the final mark. I will prepare a presentation on the calculation of the year mark as the year progresses. So for now, it's just to make you aware of the assessment dates, assignment unique numbers, as well as the assessment format. So you can see that assignment two and assignment four are in the form of a file format. That's where now you download the question paper, answer the questions, scan your answer sheets and upload on the module site under the correct unique number. Then lastly, we have the summative assessment, which we normally call an examination. So this is the end of year assignments of which will be written around October, November for three hour, 30 minutes. So this is a non-venue based exam. So it is conducted online in the form of a take home examination with a prescribed time limit as indicated of three hour, 30 minutes. And then a special session will be arranged also to discuss, as I've indicated, the assessment types, as well as the assessment dates, as well as the calculation of the year mark. And then it will be focusing on the formative as well as the summative assessments. So in concluding this, I wish you a fulfilling 2024 academic year. Please feel free to contact me via telephone, and then also in the module side, we have the chat facility, which is fast and then is instant. And then I'm able to respond on your questions instantly. I thank you. I hope that we will have a fulfilling year. Thank you.